Why didn't he make out with both of them multiple times and grab their boobs? Because he would be me too I don't give a shit. Well, he does. <laughs> Our most premiere, Matthew Schw I don't know that there's anything I can cut from this episode to make a video. Because uh, you've said some pretty controversial things. No, I didn't. I made it better. Okay, I don't think so. Yeah. So if you're looking... It's weird. If you're looking for a... Is this like the heist universe? Because Army of the Dead is a heist movie. heist diverse. And then the Army of Thieves is a heist movie. The Snyder heist. The Snyder heist? Like, what is going on here? The Snysterverse. The Snysterverse. You son of a bitch, I'm in. Uh, it was... Like, it wasn't a bad movie. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I actually thought it was pretty good. Better than Army of the Dead? Well, that's what uh, I was telling maybe. you at the very end. Because obviously it's a prequel to Army of the Dead. I was explaining to you that you watch this movie... When you watch Army of the Dead, you have nothing to like reference against, and you're just like, okay, this is like a weird Zack Snyder movie, okay. But when they take actual footage from the Zack Snyder movie and put it at the end of a movie that was actually filmed competently, <laughs> you're like, what in the world was Zack Snyder thinking when he filmed this movie? Because the contrast, like everything in the Zack Snyder movie is blurry. There's like, you're looking at a screen and like one little part of it is, is in focus and the rest of it's out. This was actually filmed fairly competently. I, I kind of liked it, actually. Uh, it was directed by Matthias Schroeschwerbringer. Whatever that guy's name is. Is he not the star? Who's the star? I don't know. Who's Scroll the star? Down. No way. He directed it, too? Holy shit, he directed he it. He directed it? This guy, what? He I directed and stunned. started it. Oh my god. What? That is sh He directed and started it? I'm- uh, hold on. Now, okay, I, now, now I, have I have an issue. Whole new respect I for it. No, now I have an issue. Okay, what's so your So you're saying he directed the movie and mm -hmm. he cast- well, he didn't technically cast, but he cast two hot girls in Nath uh, Nathaniel or Nathalie or whatever. Nathaniel. <laughs> Nathalie Emmanuel? The hot Game of Thrones girl who gets- shows her boobies. And Ruby Ophie, who's like some weird Russian girl. Why didn't he make out with both of them multiple times and grab their boobs? Because he would be me too I don't give a shit. Well, he does. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he directed it. I am stunned now. That's, I thought his name sounded familiar. Yeah, he's... Alright, I'm impressed by him. Well, here's what was impressive to me is this proves Zack Snyder's ability to find talent and cast it. Just not cinematography it. Yeah, he should not cinematography anything. Netflix But think about life. it. He can't... He, so, Army of the Dead, eh, okay movie. Not great. He finds this one character that people seem to like a little bit and was like, dude, I know people are going to like this guy. I'm going to let him direct his own movie and, and star in it. And it was pretty good. And it's the number one movie. Him. What do you mean? He's the, it's, he's the producer. So he chose him Yeah, he chose him. Uh-huh. Yeah. He's the main producer, him and his wife. Deborah Snyder and Zack Snyder, they picked this dude out. They handpicked this dude for Netflix to direct and star in this. Yeah. And it just shows you that he has a real eye for talent. <laughs> Big man, the director is gay. He might he's be. He's not. I think he's dating the one girl in real life. In fact, that's probably why I didn't make out with her. Wait, he's I dating... think he's dating Rubio Fee. Is he really? I think so. Good for Look him. Look it up. Good for him. I'm pretty sure. My computer's not well enough. Though. Well, hold on. Oh yeah, because Google's so hard to use. Matthias, you're never gonna just look up Rubio Fee boyfriend. No, no, no. Schweighoffer. Okay. Oh, I think I'm right. I see a picture of the two of them. Dating. Isn't there a picture of the two of them right there? Oh He's yeah, dating shit. And I was right. Oh my god, for over it. two years. I knew it. I knew it. Damn. So that's why he didn't make out with her. Because he's like, I already do it all the time. Why would I do that? Why didn't he make out with Nathaniel? He did. Not as much as he should have. He could have done more. He could have done a lot more tongue. I would say, okay, so here's my general thought on the movie. It's a pretty good heist movie. Uh, it's like kind of a comedy. There's n The zombies are kind of irrelevant in it, so it's not really a zombie movie at all. It's just like in that universe. The pacing's pretty good. I also felt that the, um, I thought the comedy was okay. He's, he's very silly. He's weird. He's fun. Brad Cage, so dreamy. Brad Cage is, is very dreamy, right? Uh, I thought all the stars were good. I think you just have to kind of check your, your like suspension of disbelief at the door though. 
Where you can just feel the, well, the safes open? Well, no. There's a point where she's like, there's a contest. This isn't really a spoiler because we'll try not to spoil it. Even though you kind of already understand what's happening because it's a prequel. But he, he, she's so happy. He enters into a safe cracking contest. In the same town that he lives in. How is there a safe cracking contest <laughs> in the same town that he lives? Like, you just have to kind of go with it. Like, there's literally a part where they're like, this is the fight club of safe cracking. Yeah. Let's get cracking. And then they, like, literally have a contest of people oh, cracking Oh, I love how they had that really good guy in the beginning that easily was first in, like, the first They beat years. one everything and then somehow and then lost. lost the second one. And then just was not, he didn't show up again. I thought he was going to become, like, the bad guy. Or no, what, nothing. They yeah, just nothing. throw him away. And they're just, like, they called uh, the German guy nervous guy. Yeah, like, it was weird. Yeah, so you just have to suspend some disbelief. That's all you really have to do. <laughs> It kind <laughs> of connects to uh, Army of the Dead because the final super vault or whatever they need to do to complete the... connects to the story of this one. Yeah, it's like gives you the background of the super vault. It also doesn't connect really with the character of how they portray him in this movie versus the Nuck, the Army of the Dead. But whatever. Yeah, does it really? I don't know. He's gonna. He's like the love of his life gets arrested. He's like, I'll wait for you to crack this vault, and then Dave Batista shows up. You want to crack this vault, bro? He's like, you want to crack you this vault? You son of like, a bitch! I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. So the critic consensus. So the the tomato meter has it at seventy one percent with the critics, seventy three percent with the audience. I think that's a little low, but it, it was enjoyable. It was a B for a Netflix movie. This is a good movie, right? Yeah. I would I would put it up there. I like, like heist movies. It's up there with. Ex- it's not as good as Extraction, but like if your comparison is uh, the Cloverfield par if you're if you're going from the Cloverfield paradox oh, than that. to Extraction, right? Extraction might be the best movie Netflix ever made, right? Sure. Of just Netflix movies, might be one of them, yeah. On that paradigm, this is closer to Extraction than it is to Cloverfield paradox. Yeah. Right? Yeah, easily. Yeah, it's because normally these Netflix movies are super disappointing. I would still say Ice Road Truckers or Ice Roads or whatever the hell that Liam Neeson movie, movie is the worst one, but <laughs> I don't know. Cloverfield Paradox didn't make any sense. N- yeah, least. but you uh, you I, were drunk when you watched that. You made me watch fun. that shit sober. I didn't make you do anything. You said it was a good movie. If you're drunk. You didn't say that until after I watched it. Yes. Well, tough luck. Yeah. Stuart Martin plays uh, Brad Cage. I thought it was pretty... The best joke in the movie... I, should I give away the best joke in the movie? Sure. The, this isn't a spoiler, but the best joke in the movie is they're like... You know how in heist movies are like this... Like Ocean's Eleven. They're like, this is how the heist is going to go. And he goes, that sounds like a great plan. When are we going to do it? And they're like, we already did it. <laughs> I thought that was a pretty good joke. Yeah, that was that was weird. I thought it was funny. He imagined doing it, but he actually did it. Yeah, they actually yeah. did it. So, yeah. I enjoyed it. it. De- I definitely recommend it. There's not. There's, it's enjoyable. It's fun. Natalie Emmanuel could have been more naked, but I mean, nobody was naked. In it. I know, but she could have been like more. There, was it even rated R? She could have showed something. What was it rated? I think it was rated R. How is it rated? It was barely rated R. If there's no rating, where's the rating? Here's a good one. It's uh, here's a good rating. It's just for fun. It's just fun. That's it. It's fun. I enjoyed it. It's fun. It's a nice little distraction. Yeah, it's not a bad movie. Yeah, I have no idea what it's rated. That's crazy. It's R. You think? I'm pretty sure. You have a Google. Uh, you even have them up on there. I'm not going to do that. Wow. I'm just going to guess it's R and hope for the best. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess I that's recommend. What we have. I recommend as well. What are we? We are reviewing uh, the hot list or what's the, the what? What's the the new giant Netflix movie that they Red spent Notice? Doing? They spent way too much money on it. And with, it's not going to be good. With The Rock? 